so I thought I would do a reading vlog. Um, I am thinking about going back on book two. That's the first time I said that out loud. See how that goes. I'm gonna have to use my knee as support because I'm weak and my arms hurt already. I just have a lot more time on my hands now and I missed it. So I'm gonna try to do it. Um, books. The first book that I just finished reading was Storm and Fury by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the first book in her Hairbrings, Hairbring, Hairbringer, Hairbringer series. Um, and this book is a continuation of the world from the Dark Element series. And that book, the first book in that series is White Hot Kiss. I know I have a review for White Hot Kiss on my channel. I don't know if I have all three books, but I know I have White Hot Kiss review, which, um, Please don't go watch it. No, I'm kidding. Go watch it if you want to see my thoughts on it. I love Jennifer L. Armentrout's writing. It's really easy to get into and it's like very nostalgic for me because I was reading her books when I was really young. So yeah, I really like her writing. I really, what I love most about this series is this series and the Dark Element series is the supernatural references. I know that she wrote the first trilogy on the backs of Supernatural kind of like it kind of gave her the idea for it and so there's so many like references and I when I was reading this book I tried to start like highlighting um, some of the references but there's like character names like Misha is one of the main characters in this book and that's a Supernatural character and then um, there's a part where we meet witches and Rowena is a character and she's a witch in Supernatural so and Zane the main guy character in this book he drives a Chevy Impala which is what the Winchester brothers drive baby that's just a few of the things that I noticed and I freaking loved it. That's like my favorite. Oh, God, I'm like really shaky. Um, that's one of my favorite things about these books is just seeing all the supernatural references. I ended up giving it four stars, maybe more like a 4.5 stars. There's just a few things with the writing that I feel like I didn't connect to sometimes. That's the only reason why I didn't give it five stars. So I have two other books that I am thinking about reading this week. So I was thinking about picking up this Savage Song because all my books right now are fantasy or sci-fi. And so I was thinking about picking this up. I feel like this would be more of like an urban fantasy that I'm looking for and I've heard really great things about V.E. Schwab and I don't think I've read any of her books so I think I'm gonna pick that up if that doesn't really interest me and I'm just like coming well let's be honest I'm probably gonna read this instead um the sweep series I sometimes get like this feeling that I want to read it and I'll read like one or two books in a row and then um like put it down because it's a little it's really outdated and like the writing I don't know. It's just really nostalgic too for me. So it depends on what mood I'm in. If I'm like in a reading mood, then I'll pick up something better. But if I'm like in a slumpish kind of like what I am right now, then I think I'm going to really enjoy reading this. I also have videos of me reviewing these books on my channel. Those really don't go watch because that was like from the very beginning of my YouTube journey. I've read the first book in this bind up, I think. Think. No, maybe I'm on the first book, so I'm on the calling, um, but I'm like more than halfway done with it, so um, I will be moving on to the second book called Changeling. And I would like to finish my reread of the series. I started it, like I said, like five years ago when I started my channel, and then um, like two years ago, I think, I restarted rereading the series. So um, this second bind up always gives me trouble, like I can't make it through it. Well, that's not true. I think the first reread I did, wait, this is the third bind up. What am I even saying? Get your facts right. This third bind up uh, always gives me trouble. I usually get to the middle of this one and then kind of like stop rereading. So I'm not even gonna start from the beginning. I'm just gonna start from there, from where I left off. And I'll be a little bit confused, but it wasn't that long ago that I started it. Anyway, that's my reading plans for the week. Um, during the week, I don't really have a lot of time to read or if I do, I probably shouldn't read. Um, I'm currently still in college. I know nothing's changed in the three years I've been gone, um, or two years or however long it's been. Uh, college has been a struggle for me, but I am back on the gravy train, as my dad would say. Um, I'm back, like, getting into the groove of school and, like, I only have a year left. So I'm really excited and when that year's up, I will have my teaching degree. Um, I plan on doing, like, a little updates video, so I'm sure before this video gets put out, I'll have updates of like where I live and what's changed and I mean it's been a really long time since I've made a video so yeah hopefully that will be what you see first and this will be second. Please give me some grace this is my first reading vlog but I will try to make it 
a little bit interesting for you guys. We'll see if I can do that. And I'm sorry, my hand is really shaky. All right, so I will come back with an update for you once I read a little bit more. Okay, I gotta hold myself accountable now because I just ordered all the stuff I need to start my YouTube channel. So, <sighs> it was money that I didn't have, but we'll get here tomorrow. I feel like that's a sign, right? Right. <laughs> I haven't even read anything and I'm starving, so hungry. So, going, okay, let's just do this. I'm, I'm doing this, right? So I'm going to try to read. <sighs> Things are just, I just hit myself and just, okay. I'm gonna try to read 50 pages of this tonight just to see if I like it. So we'll do that. If I'm not loving it, I'm gonna read 50 pages of this. So, yeah. Um, this is really, this book's really calling to me, so we'll see if I end up doing that. I'm posting the pictures on my Instagram while I've been editing the thumbnails for them. Or like, the thumbnails, get it together, Sarah, get your jargon back. I've been editing the pictures that I'm going to post on my new Instagram, which is Books and Junk, Books in the Junk, if you want to go follow it. Um, I also have, jeez, it's like when one thing goes off, I'll have an iPad in it. It all just goes off. And yeah, you can go follow my Instagram. I'm gonna get food. It's probably gonna be fast food because I'm lazy. And then I'm going to read. All right then, that is your first update. I feel accomplished. I am on a daily basis. Look at all that mess down there in the shoes. Just living my best life. There I am. Hello. Okay, so I'm going to stop moving this around so that way you don't get sick. Okay, so I am home from work and oh, just the bed. Oh. Okay, so I'm home from work today. <laughs> I'm home from work now. Um, it was, it was the day, let me tell you. It was a day. If I've never said before where I work or what I do, <laughs> I hate having, like, seeing my back. Um, I am an assistant PE coach for an elementary school. So basically I work in elementary school and teach PE. And this is my second year at this school. Rough life. Just teaching kids is, exhausting um and then I'm coming home and having to do homework and right now that's what I'm doing I'm listening to a video because I gotta oh I have makeup on anyway it's what, what am I even saying what am I even doing um basically what I'm doing right now is homework and I'm gonna do this for like another 30 minutes so I'm gonna do that and then after I get my homework done I'm going to read I'm gonna read this savage song um and hopefully I would like to get like at least 75 pages in if I could get more that would be amazing but I don't know I don't know like if I could get 100 pages in that would be that would be like day made basically so yeah I am just going to do that I would also like to put all the clips that are on my phone onto my computer so I can start editing this video and um kind of just get that ready so that way I'm not like at the end of the week struggling to get everything done and I haven't edited a video in a long time so I'm sure it's gonna take me forever and also I apologize for all the glare but yeah so I'm gonna read a little bit of this savage song and see how that goes if it goes good perfect I would kind of like to read this but I don't know if I'm going to I'm just gonna set it away for me um, because I really don't want to have two books going at the same time well three if you count Harry Potter but yeah so I'm gonna do homework read this savage song just basically what i said i was gonna do in the last clip so except for i'm gonna edit also anyway um i'll talk to you guys later okay 
so um i just got to page 93 i just got to page 93 of the savage song and i'm actually really enjoying it i was skeptical going in because um, I know a lot of people like it but I wasn't really sure if it was gonna be my thing. It is kind of weird but in a good way so I'm really enjoying it. I think it's uh, a good story so far. There's um, a lot of intrigue. I'm really interested about these monsters and kind of like the um, there's like two different sections of the city. There's kind of like um, there's kind of like a safe section and a um not not so safe section yes i'm really i'm really intrigued by this there's like two sections and our main characters are like children of the leaders of both sections so it's just really interesting and they're meant to meet each other so i'm anticipating that um yeah, so far so good i'm stopping right now because i'm exhausted i'm tired and <clears throat> It's getting to a point where I think it might be a little bit creepy or like someone's gonna die. So I try not to read that kind of stuff at night, like when I'm about to go to bed. I think I might read a little bit of Harry Potter. I updated and said I was like at the part where they're in Grimmauld Place. I don't think I talked about like what I'm reading or whatever, but I'm rereading the Harry Potter series and I'm on Deathly Hollows. And I'm at the part where they're at Grimmauld Place and uh, they're like questioning creature. So I think I've only read the end of Deathly Hollows once, maybe twice. Oh goodness, I have makeup all over my face. Yeah, I'm excited to read the ending of it now. But anyway, I am going to go to bed. So yeah, that's my update. I just feel like this is going to be so weird, but you know, anyway. Right, I will talk to you guys in the morning. Oh, today is the first time I've gotten to update you guys all day. I just got home from work. I look a mess, I feel a mess, I'm ready for a nap. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to take a nap today. I did end up getting to page 100, I think. Um, yeah, 104 of The Savage Song, and I'm really, like, really enjoying it. I feel like the story hasn't really expanded yet but i'm at a part right now i think i said this last night but i'm at a part right now where like i think stuff's about to happen stuff's about to go down so yeah really enjoying that i'm also reading listening to harry potter and i got to the part i'm reading deathly hollows i think i've said that seven million times i'm listening to deathly hollows um, and I just got to the part where they were at the ministry. It was a really intense part. It was really good. I'm glad that I got to listen to it on the way home. Um, just because I just have time to sit and listen to it. So, and not do anything else besides listening. I'm going to cook dinner. I do have a few things for school I need to do tonight. But I'm mainly going to focus on reading the Savage Song. Oh, that's my roommate's Texas thing. I want to get to like 100 more pages. So like page 200 tonight. Um, we'll see if that is what I'm going to do. I also have a beautiful little pimple on my chin. So I hope that you're all enjoying that. Yeah, pretty much that's it. I will see you guys for another update. put in a time lapse of me doing homework and reading so I hope that wasn't too bad. I'm just going to continue to be in this 
study session and then read for the rest of the night. So yeah, just thought I would quickly update you about my um, glass of wine here because it's, it's, it's time. Oopsies, didn't mean to press that, but I guess we'll go with it. I guess I'm getting more comfortable in front of the camera. So that's good. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, I look just as exhausted as I feel. Okay, so hey guys. All right, I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving, I'm standing. Actually, let's just do it in front of the bookshelf. Oh, oh natural light is my enemy right now. You're, cro you're crooked. Super crooked. Not too bad. All this filming equipment in the way. All right, guys, so it's been a little while. This is a, an exact representation of how my day has been, right here. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I updated you. Um, I think the last time I updated you, I had only read 100 pages of this Savage, Sambala, this Savage Song, but I actually finished it. So check this one off and moving on to the next book, which is, uh, by the way, the next book is With the Fire on High which I'm loving. Uh, I think I'm gonna finish that like right now because I have time and it's, I, I think I just look so, I'm, I'm so embarrassed, but whatever. Is this better? Let's see how long I can sit like this. So I just finished, or I'm, I'm currently reading With the Fire on High and I'm loving it by the way. Um, so that's the next book I'm reading. <laughs> I think I can finish it. I think Kindle says I have like three and a half hours or something. So I know I can finish it tonight. That's not gonna work. I'm, just, I'm on the struggle bus today. So yeah, I'm gonna finish that tonight and then maybe start another book. I don't really know what I'm in the mood for and I'll just see whenever I finish that book what I'm in the mood for and I'll let you know. Um, I have like a bunch of books on my TBR but I'm not, none of them's really calling to me. So um, it might be the sweep series, which actually probably will be. We'll just have to see. Let's talk a little bit about my feelings on this Savage Song. I ended up giving this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Um, it was really good uh, in some parts. In some parts, it was just kind of meh. Um, I feel like the last chunk of it was really fast-paced, which is nice, but it also went a little too fast for me, I think, and nothing really resolved. And I know there's a sequel to this, and I know it's just a duology, so I probably will pick up the duology, or the second book, which is called Our Dark Duet, just because I liked this enough to do that. Um, I didn't love it. I, I think that her writing style is something that you have to get used to, and I just didn't get used to it by the end. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna take those off. I didn't, I didn't really get used to the writing style, so I don't know if I am going to love the second book. Hold on. I'm, I'm a friggin' mess today. I don't know if I'll love the second book, but um, I definitely want to try it out. Just to like get some closure and stuff, but I might listen to it on audiobook. So yeah, uh, With the Fire on High is really good. I'm really liking that book. I haven't read just like a straight up contemporary novel in a really long time. So I'm really excited to see where it goes. And like, I love the different diversity, like the culture diversity that's in it. And um, the story is just really nice. And I don't know, I just really enjoy it. So I am going to finish that now. I already talked, I already said that. I already said that, Sarah, moving on. Like I said, it's been a long week, like so long. I'm so glad I have Monday off of work. Uh, it's Labor Day and I get that day off of work. So I am living my best week in life starting now. I'm already in pajamas and it's literally four o'clock, 4.30. So that's perfect for me. I also need to finish editing, finish editing, bleh. I also, oh my God, seriously. Also need to finish edit, editing also need to finish editing this video, which I've kind of already started, but um, I still have a lot of work I need to put into it. And then, uh, which I'll probably do tonight. And then I want to post a video on Sunday and I don't think I want it to be this video. I think I want to post like an updates video that's pretty fast and like gets me back on track. I think tomorrow I'm gonna get up early and just like do my hair and my makeup and just look presentable because I haven't at all this week <laughs> in this video. So um, yeah, and plus I think I need to do that just to feel good about myself. So I'm, I'm like not in really great mood lately. 
But yeah, other than that, there's not really much I'm going to do this weekend so far. Uh, I might go out on Saturday night, but we'll see if I have any friends that want to go out. Oh, I also have to take a test tomorrow, so that will be fun and exciting and probably work on some homework. But yeah, I think that's it. So without further ado, let's start the weekend and hopefully there'll be some reading montages. We'll see. And I'll get back to you when I finish with the fire on high. All right. So I didn't really get to reading so much today that I wanted to, but I did film some videos. I took some books, bookstagram pictures. I also edited, is that light annoying? I'm just struggling like always. Also edited um, that video, like most of it, and then I edited the majority or all of this video um, besides tomorrow, because I obviously I'm gonna end it tomorrow. So yeah, uh, I'm about to go out right now. I'm gonna go dancing with some coworkers. I don't know I was gonna update you on. Number one, I'm almost done with my reread of Deathly Hollows. I kind of don't want it to end, so I might pick up a different audiobook at least until Tuesday. Oh, there's hair in my eye at least until Tuesday so that way I can um, finish it in the car. And then I bought Daisy Jones and the Six. Uh, Kristen Ashley, who's one of my favorite authors, she's coming out with a book in October that she got a lot of inspiration from Daisy Jones and the Six, um, like inspired her to write a story that she's been thinking of, but like didn't know how to do it. So yeah, I assume it's gonna be similar. So I kind of want to go into it reading Daisy Jones. So that way I'm not like sometimes when she does like different stuff with her books, it takes me a while to get into them and I'd rather not have to do that. So just like getting the inspiration behind it sometimes um, helps me like get into the story quicker. So yeah, I'm really excited about that novel. Um, I, can't, I think it's called Fast Lane, I want to say. And um, something I love about Kristen Ashley's books is that she focuses really heavily on music and like integrates a lot of the older music that I, I grew up listening to into her books. And so um, I'm really excited for a story all about music and a musician and a band. So yeah, um, I am sweating freaking bullets right now. Oh my gosh, what else? So I also, oh, I also got um, Prince and the Dressmaker graphic novel uh, for my library. So I'm going to be reading that. I kind of already started it and it looks like it's going to be good. I'm not really the biggest fan of graphic novels. When I first got back onto booktube or when I first was doing my booktube channel, I really like read graphic novels because everyone was liking them. So I'm pretty caught up on Saga and um, like I've read a couple, oh my god, I'm sweating. I've read a couple other graphic novels like uh, Why the Last Man and Sweet Tooth and oh, the Amulet series. I've read almost all of those, but I wasn't like super invested in the characters. Like Saga was good um, and I really enjoyed reading it, but it's not my favorite medium to read. Uh, so I was kind of nervous. I really want to pick up Heartstoppers because I think I'll love that a lot, but I wasn't sure about this one, but it's from the library and I have like 14 days or something to read it. So I'm just reading it on my phone because my Kindle's an e-reader so it doesn't have color. Yeah, that was a really long-winded way to explain that I'm I'm reading Prince and the Dressmaker also. Um, and other than that, I haven't really started anything else. Yeah, I am just going to go out tonight, come home, probably go straight to bed, and then I'll probably read tomorrow, upload my videos tomorrow, or upload my video tomorrow, do my test if I'm not like hungover or anything. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get any schoolwork done today, which is kind of like a good thing because I needed some time for myself, but also like I need to take my test. So anyway, I am going to run off and I will see you guys when my room is in so much of a mess. <laughs> All right guys, it is Sunday currently. I just uploaded my first video in three years. So that was exciting and nerve wracking. I'm so nervous and I don't know why. I'm just being silly. So uh, I didn't get any more reading done. I have like four hours left of Harry Potter's, uh, Harry Potter's book, <laughs> Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Um, and I read just a tiny little bit of The Prince and the Dressmaker. So my plan is to read a little bit, try not to take a nap because I'm so tired. If I can achieve those things, I will be happy. I have tomorrow off of work, so that's amazing. My life is kind of boring, so hopefully this wasn't too boring. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to read for a little while and I will catch you up with what I read and how I felt about it.
just in the vlog now so I can start a new one. I'm currently watching YouTube and realizing that the day is getting away from me and I haven't read anything yet. I'm still reading The Prince and the Dressmaker on my phone. I think I'm going to try to finish that right now and just like sit down and finish it. Um, sometimes I feel... Oops fingers on my camera sometimes I feel a little bit guilty reading like graphic novels I don't know that's weird I, I don't know anyway so yeah I'm gonna read that and then um, I'll update it on the next my next reading vlog and then I'm started last night I started Nevermore and I'm, I really haven't really read anymore I'm on page 77 so I am just going to try to read some of that today too if I can get to like 150 I feel like that's totally doable then that'd be great. And then if I could also finish Harry Potter, I have like two hours left of Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows, so I will finish that also. So hopefully in the next clip, more fingers in the camera, I'll have more, like the next vlog, I'll have more reading updates to give you guys. Um, Cause right now I haven't really done much reading and I have work tomorrow. So I did take a test today and passed it. So cheers for me. I also uploaded a picture of the Faithful and the Fallen series on my Instagram and the author, John Gwynn, commented on it and I, it's just made my life. So well, that was awesome. Um, made my whole life because <laughs> I love that series so, so much. So that's all I have for this reading vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment down below what books you're currently reading and I hope that you have a great day. Read more books.